Hi, in this video I'll be covering the card which states custom visual. So let's get straight to it. To import this visual, we'll come to the three dots here. We'll click on it, we'll click from import from app source and <clears throat> we'll search for card with states and here is the one you want. So this is not a visual by Microsoft, this is a visual by SQL BI. You can have a look at the other visuals that they have prepared on their website. So let's get straight to it and just have a look at what this visual can do. So you could have different targets. So let's say you define what is the minimum that is good, what is the maximum and then you could have a couple of things mentioned on one single card. So let's have a look at this visual. I've already imported this so this is how it looks. This is the one. Click on it and now I'll show you something really cool. Okay, I'm gonna have the normal card that we have in Power BI. I'm gonna have that over here as well. So let's say I drag my state. So just first look at the field option that we have here. So the only option that we have is fields. So if I drag my fields in here, it'll show me my fields. And if I take my fields out, sales out, if I want to see my region, I'll click region and just show me my first region. So if I want to see the count of regions, it will show me the count of regions. So that is okay. So I'll have my sales in here. So you don't have any other options here. Okay. Now let's come to the card with states visual. This is the one card with states by OKWiz. Okay so you have a measure, you have a target, you have a states measure, you have states, you have a trend axis. So now, right now, I in this particular data set, I don't have a <coughs> target value or a minimum or a maximum value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my sales and I'm going to click on my state. So this is when you have a value as in when you have maximum and minimum value. And if I put states into this field, what will happen is it will just show me the first state. I could have the last state as well. That's not an issue when I come and click on that's not going to do much for me right now because I don't have that particular type of data set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a trend axis along with your card, which is not possible in the normal card. So when I have my state in here and let's expand this and let's look at the options that we have here. Let's go to the settings, data labels. Let's make this sum. Okay, yeah. So let's go to the settings and look at have a look at the settings. So when you come to the trend line, you've got you've got a couple of options. You could change the line color. I could make it grayish. Totally up to me. I could change the appearance. I could make it straight. I could have make it smooth. You know, let's keep it as a step. This looks great. Let's increase the weight. And let's have all the points. Okay, that does not look good. Let's make it back. Let's make it two. So sure. So when you go on the first point, it shows you that Alabama the sales are this much. It shows you in Arizona sales are this much. And one more thing, you could have a highest point and a lowest point, and you could add a color. So if I want my highest point to be green, it will show my particular point is green. And if I want the lowest point, and I want that lowest point to be shown as maybe red area, maybe that's the danger zone for us. So you see, here is the North Dakota has the lowest and California has the highest sales. And if you want, you could get this color also. You could change the color. You've got a lot of options. Like, let's make it blue. Like, no, blue does not look good. Let's make, it, uh, let's make it, yeah, this one. This color looks good. Sure. You could increase the transparency and the creators of this visual have given you an option wherein you can change the vision. I don't think it matters. I mean, it does not make a lot of difference, but you have that option as well. So if you're someone who likes too much detailing uh, in terms of coloring, in terms of the fill inside the trend line, you could go about that. And you have, you can add a title. We've shown you that. You can add a background. So the background, would, one second, let's have a look at the background. So you just have to add colors white right now. I could change it and make it grayish. So I could increase the transparency. So that can be done easily. Let's make it white again. We don't need the background color right now. And let's add a border. So yeah, 
so this is the card with stage visual and this is normal visual that you have here so you see the difference right this cannot be done on normal card this can be done on normal card you can have red line and if you have a particular data set that has a minimum and maximum values that state that let's say sales below for example when i say that sales in let's say sales what are my sales in california the 457,000, and my lowest point is how much is my lowest point not the 919 so let's say i say that anything below 2000 anything below uh 1500 maybe yeah anything below 1500 1500 is 1500 uh is bad and anything above that is uh, let's say good and let's say this is since this is my highest i could have that my target was 440 and then california was the highest has the highest sales with 457 so you could you need that type of data set but this is what i wanted to show you this is how the custom visual looks instead you don't want to have a normal card that just shows you sales you want to have a card that does not just show you sales but gives you a trend line as well so you could do that as well so thank you, I hope you learned something new.